Okay guys, we're going to have a little look at slow question. So slow but reliable means how slanted it is. So if you've got like all these different lines, you're going to have different steepness. So that's one line there. This line is slightly different, okay? This line is steeper than this line. And the slope just tells us how steep that line is. A little formula for the slope. It looks complicated, but it's not actually that bad. It says y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So what we have here is we've got two points for question one. So I'm going to label them, and I'm going to write x1, y1, x2, y2. I always do that, x1, y1, x2, y2. And I'm just going to sub them into this formula here. So if you look at the formula, it says y2 minus y1. So y2 is 12. I'm going to take away y1, which is 4. So it would be 12, y2 minus y1, uh, which is 4. And then I do x2 minus x1. Is x2 minus x1, so I start off with 5 and I take away 3. And if you look there, 12 minus 4 is 8, and 5 minus 3 is 2. And you use your calculator for this. And I know that 2 goes into 8 4 times, so my slope is 4. We can put that whole thing into the calculator if you want there. That's how we figure out the slope. Let's make it a little bit more difficult. Let's put in some minus numbers. And for this one, I definitely would use a calculator just to be sure. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do x1, y1, x2, y2. And I'm going to write down y2 minus y1. Now see why this is a minus number here. This makes it a bit more difficult. So I put that in brackets. I do minus 2. Anywhere you have a minus number in your calculator, you just put it in brackets. Minus 6. So I do minus 2 in brackets, minus 6. Then I do x2 minus x1. I do 4. Minus, and that's minus over again, so I do minus 1. Very complicated compared to this one, but put it into your calculator. So that y2 minus y1, but make sure the minus one is in brackets. x2 minus x1, make sure the x, the negative number here is in brackets. And what you're going to get there is you're going to get minus 8 all over 5. And you can leave it like that. That's not going to give you a nice whole number. So you allow to have a fraction. This one gave you a nice whole number, but this one doesn't. So just leave it as a fraction. Remember, use your calculator for these.